Hello everyone, welcome to Ask Geology, a whole new way to understand our mother earth. And in this today's 7 minute numerical class, we will be discussing about another general geology question. Okay, and it is going to be the fourth general geology numerical solution. Okay, so the question is this is from IIT Jam 2022. The radius of the earth circular orbit around the sun is 149 into 10 to the power 6 kilometer. Okay, the earth takes 365 days to orbit the sun. The tangential velocity of the earth is okay. In the previous uh, general geology video, I think I have uh, uh, given some example. Okay, so you can just uh, watch that one if you have not watched. There is a very simple relationship between the linear velocity and the angular velocity. Okay, so in this question, whatever the given data, the radius of the earth circular orbit, the very first thing that they have considered the orbit of, of our earth around the sun to be circular. Okay, but in reality, okay, the, uh, the orbit of earth is not circular. Okay, this type of elliptical path, the orbit, earth's orbit is not uh, circular but elliptical and these are the positions this is perihelion and aphelion so perihelion when the sun is nearer to our earth that is your perihelion okay p perihelion pass me ho jayega okay pass me ho jayega to perihelion aphelion that is the opposite so simple like uh, for memory capsule you can see perihelion means means pass me a jayega to perihelion dur chala jayega then aphelion okay so but in this question they have just uh, uh, assumed the orbit to be circular okay and the radius is given to be 149 into 10 to the power 6 kilometer the earth takes 365 days to orbit the sun to orbit the sun means to complete one to complete one complete circle okay here we start hoga, then it will take okay it will take 365 days to come back to its that position from where it started okay so basically we can call it as a time period isn't it this is the time what is the time period the time period is the time taken to complete one complete circle okay complete circle or one complete unit that is your time period so and he is telling about the tangential velocity of the earth okay Abhi dekho, if this earth is moving there is two types of force centripetal and centrifugal force okay now it is calling uh, asking about the tangential velocity why this tangential velocity okay there is one force of attraction between the earth and the sun okay that is the gravitational gravitational pull or gravitational force of attraction now if for any reason that gravitational attraction or the force of gravity that doesn't work then this earth it will just follow a tangential path isn't it? कभी आप ऐसे देखते हैं ना अभी रस्सी में कुछ घुमा के मतलब बांध के पत्थर बांध के जो घुमाते हैं अगर रस्सी मतलब टूट जाता है then it just goes tangentially okay so he is asking that what would be the tangential velocity of the earth okay so there is a very simple formula for the tangential velocity what is that formula this v is equal to omega into r okay this v is your linear velocity linear velocity and this omega is your angular velocity and these are the relation and this r is the radius okay this is the radius so this omega we know omega is equal to 2 pi f f is the frequency okay and r and we know f is 1 by t this is the inverse of your time period this t is your time period time period okay time period means the time taken to complete one complete revolution f is your frequency okay so this is the relation so we can see we can just write down 2 pi r by t with this 2 pi f this is 2 pi t 2 pi by t and r is the radius okay so just put the formula to get the answer this b is your tangential velocity so what is 2 then pi is given to be 3.14 and what is the radius that is equal to 149 
into 10 to the power 6 this is in kilometer divided by this is how much time it does it take 365 days 365 into you can see that the answer is asking in kilometer per hour kilometer is already there so it is in days so one day is 24 hour so multiply 24 then hour okay so the unit is correct kilometer per hour the unit okay kilometer per hour it is correct just you have to just solve this calculation so if you just calculate this then the answer is one zero six eight one seven point three five one six this is kilometer per hour but you can see a round of to one decimal place so the answer would be 106817.3 kilometer per hour okay this is the tangential velocity so let us see this is 10687.3 kilometer per hour okay so yahan par dekho chhota sa formula hai pass mein rahega to perihelion aur pass mein rahega to pyar ho jayega perihelion dur jayega that is the opposite okay so here the answer is this one okay so thank you guys if you just want to join our group ask geology group then you can just simply text or you can simply call to these numbers or just you just mail put a mail to this gmail id or you can simply click on the links given in the description box okay save our mother earth guys plant some trees thank you